I remember that look on your face the day we decided to have a family. <laughs> we had fun, didn't we? Trying everything we could imagine. Until we finally admitted something was wrong. I never did blame you. But you wouldn't stop blaming yourself. No, we didn't give up on nature. We both believed it was the best way forwards, remember? But then I saw how you surrendered yourself to those doctors. Carefully placing our future happiness in their hands. You just never thought it would be so complicated, did you? Worrying every day about doing something wrong. Because you knew everything had to be just right. Do you remember how I felt your pain when I did that first injection for you? And the way you squeezed my hand when they looked inside you for the follicles? You were frightened. I do know. But when they told us they'd chosen the one, <laughs> wow, that's my little girl, you said. Even though that tiny thing could have been a boy. We should have made it together. I know that, but it was still us in there, sweetheart. It was still us. You were so full of hope when they put it back inside you. But after that, what more should we have done? Just hold our breath until... 17 minutes you waited for those lines to appear, but I could see you fall apart after three. You were never prepared, were you? Nothing's worth this, you cried. You wouldn't talk for days. They told us we could start over, but I couldn't see you hurt like that again. It'll hurt more not knowing, you said. And right then, I understood the love you felt for something that didn't even exist. It was so strong. Why did you ever think I would leave you? Not then, not ever. Of course I stood by you while you put yourself through all that again. And then... <laughs> it happened. After feeling so empty for so, so long, <laughs> it happened. You did that test three times to make sure, because we both wanted it so badly. Because through all the worry and pain, you never did give up. You never did stop believing that it was possible. My wife, my hero.